Okay, folks, I'm just showing you something really, really quick here. Basically, I've installed a program or plugin called Knobroom, which is installed through the plugin manager. This is it here. It's a direct manipulation add-on for Lightroom 3, adding access to photo development settings with a MIDI controller. And the MIDI controller I have is the Korg Nano Control. All right. So I've clicked on here. And I'm going to show it to you in operation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you the settings here, which I have edited myself. So plug in extras. Now room assigned. The first thing that I've done when I've booted up is I've assigned it to channel one in my MIDI. Uh, and which I haven't done anything special to the nano control to do it and assigned controls. Now these are different. And um, there's four scene banks on the nano control, so I've kind of set up some stuff on two of them so I can have knobs and sliders. So on the first page I've got exposure and up as far as sharpening stuff and a bit of tone control stuff. Uh, and then the next set which I'm, I've assigned to scene two on the nano control is more sharpening stuff, noise reduction and split toning. Uh, the next one has uh, a little bit of saturation and luminance controls from HSL. I haven't really put anything else on it. There is stuff that is mapped to, to scene 4, but I haven't really done much with it. It's not particularly important to me. Now, correspondingly, with the the actual Korg Nano editor, what I've done is, for scene 1, all the numbers that physically match in that panel, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up as far as 17, I have just mapped, literally, onto the fader and onto the knobs, literally, as you saw there a minute ago. On scene two then, it's the next set from 32 up, or, you know, just to match literally what's done in the actual plugin itself. So if we, if we compare here, I'll go back to scene one for a second, you can see zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I go and have a look at the plugin extras, the assigned controls, we can see that it's zero for exposure, recovery, so on, so forth, up as far as eight was her saturation so you can see that they're all so they're what's going to get controlled so now let's have a quick look at it actually in operation so i click ok we can see that we have the basic panel open here so now i'm going to go down with my fingers and i'm going to push the first knob which is i've set to exposure so we can see the exposure has gone up and the exposure is coming back down again so i'm just doing that literally with the fader so down the hallway up the hallway and it's responding pretty much in real time so I'm going to bump the exposure here on this and now I'm going to go for recovery which is the second knob it's going to push in a fair bit of recovery then just for the sake of exaggeration I can pull in some fill light and some blacks just give me an exaggerated look I'm going to play with brightness brighten the image and make it more contrasty of course it's now gone very orange what I'm going to do is <coughs> uh, I'm going to push clarity first just for the sake of pushing clarity first and now I'm going to reduce vibrance. I want it to be less vibrant and maybe pull a tiny bit of saturation out as well. That's a little bit too much. Push them back in again. Right, my top row then I have temperature and tint. So I can cool down the image. As soon as you start to change now it will jump to that position and then track. And I'm not going to touch tint. The next four that I have set up, I've set up for the tone curves. So that's lightening my darks. Or my shadows out right there. It's going to darken my darks. Brighten the lights and brighten the highlights to give it a bit of a sheen. Uh, the last three I actually have some sharpening stuff, which I'm just going to really exaggerate here for a second. I have sharpening on the second page as well. So now what I'm going to do is if I just press the scene button to go to scene two, these controls are now something completely different. And I know that these last five controls are my uh, split toning. So the first thing I need to do is turn up the, uh, the actual color. And then I can change the color. And I'm going to do the same for the other side as well for my highlights. And this is that this middle one then acts as the balance control between them. So you can see it's gone pink or it's gone green. So that's just showing you very quickly that I am manually controlling all of the stuff that's happening from this controller. So that's done with the pro uh, knob room, which is knobroom.com. A few people joking about the name, but you know, that's it. It's using knobs to control Lightroom.